Imagine a world over 2,500 years ago where one empire ruled over a vast expanse from Egypt to India, an empire that was the first to respect the cultural diversity of its subjects. This was the Persian Empire. In the heart of what is now modern-day Iran, a great leader rose. His name was Cyrus. Known to history as Cyrus the Great, his rule marked the birth of the Persian Empire. This was not an empire built on blood and conquest alone, but one forged with an understanding of the power of unity, respect and diversity. Cyrus the Great was not just a conqueror, he was a visionary, a ruler who understood that the strength of an empire lay not in its ability to subjugate, but in its capacity to integrate. He respected the customs and religions of the lands he conquered, allowing them to govern themselves under the umbrella of his vast empire. This approach, so unique for its time, fostered an unprecedented era of peace and prosperity. But Cyrus's vision extended beyond the mere governance of his empire. He was a pioneer for human rights. He believed in the inherent dignity and worth of all people, regardless of their race or religion. This belief led to the creation of the Cyrus Cylinder, often referred to as the world's first charter of human rights. This ancient document inscribed in clay proclaimed the rights of all individuals to freedom of religion and forbade the mistreatment of any conquered people. Cyrus's revolutionary approach to governance, his respect for cultural diversity, and his insistence on human rights laid the foundation for an empire that would last for more than 200 years. It was an empire that spanned three continents and included some of the most diverse cultures of the ancient world. And so the Persian Empire began its journey setting standards in governance and human rights that were far ahead of their time. As the Persian Empire expanded under Cyrus, it ushered in a golden age of cultural exchange and architectural marvels. This was an era defined by the reigns of two remarkable leaders, Darius and Xerxes. Darius, known as Darius the Great, was a visionary. His rule was marked by monumental architectural projects and infrastructural developments that would shape the Persian Empire for generations to come. One of Darius's crowning achievements was the construction of Persepolis, the ceremonial capital of the empire. This grand city, with its majestic palaces and halls, was a testament to the architectural prowess of the Persians. It was a city adorned with intricate reliefs and inscriptions that told the stories of the empire's triumphs. It stood as a symbol of Persian might and elegance, attracting visitors and envoys from across the known world. Beyond the grandeur of Persepolis, Darius implemented infrastructural projects that would revolutionize trade and communication within the empire. Among these was the Royal Road, an extensive network of routes that stretched from Susa in Persia to Sardis in Anatolia. This highway facilitated rapid communication and transport across vast distances, fostering economic growth and unity among the diverse regions of the empire. Under Darius's son Xerxes, the empire continued to flourish. Xerxes was instrumental in maintaining the empire's stability and prosperity, continuing his father's legacy. He furthered the expansion of Persepolis and ensured the empire's wealth by introducing a standard currency. This was a significant step towards economic integration and provided a stable monetary system that facilitated trade and commerce. The golden age of the Persian Empire was not just about territorial expansion and military might. It was a time when diverse cultures and civilizations were brought together under a unified banner. It was an era marked by innovation, prosperity and a profound appreciation for the arts and sciences. The Persian Empire was not just about territorial conquest, it was about unifying diverse cultures and fostering prosperity. This golden age left an indelible mark on the annals of history, shaping the course of civilizations to come. But as the saying goes, pride comes before a fall. The Persian Empire, once the epitome of power and prosperity, was not exempted from this rule. The decline of the Persian Empire did not happen overnight, it was a gradual process. A series of unfortunate events, coupled with internal issues and external threats, led to the fall of this once majestic empire. The empire's vastness, which once was its strength, slowly turned into its weakness. 
the immense territory became difficult to control and manage, and the fringes started to fray. The Persian Empire's administration, once a model for the world, began to falter under the weight of its own bureaucracy. Corruption seeped into the system, and the once loyal satraps, the provincial governors, started to vie for power, leading to internal strife and conflict. The unity that once held the empire together began to crumble. However, the final blow was the invasion by a young and ambitious Greek king, Alexander the Great. The Persians, under the rule of King Darius III, were unable to withstand the onslaught of Alexander's forces. In a series of decisive battles, Alexander's superior tactics and the morale of his troops led to the downfall of the Persian Empire. Despite their valiant efforts, the Persian forces were defeated at the Battle of Gogamela. Alexander's victory signaled the end of the Persian Empire. Darius III, the last king of kings, sought refuge in his eastern provinces but was eventually killed by his own subjects, marking a tragic end to a glorious era. Yet the Persian Empire did not just disappear into the annals of history. Its decline marked the beginning of a new era, a new chapter in the history of the world. The empire's fall led to a power vacuum which was filled by a series of empires and dynasties, each carrying forward the legacy of Persia in their own way. The mighty Persian Empire fell, but its legacy was far from over. The fall of the Persian Empire did not signify the end. Instead, it led to a new beginning. As the sun set on the Persian Empire, the aftermath was not one of desolation, but of rebirth. The empire's fall left a power vacuum, which was swiftly filled by the Seleucid Empire a Hellenistic state born from the ashes of Alexander the Great's conquest. This new empire, however, was not a mere carbon copy of its predecessor. It was a fusion of Greek and Persian cultures, a testament to the enduring influence of the Persian Empire. But the Persian spirit was far from quenched. From the remnants of the Seleucid Empire arose the Parthian Empire, a powerful force that held sway for nearly five centuries. The Parthians, ardent patrons of Persian culture, helped to rekindle the flame of the Persian Empire, preserving and propagating its traditions and values. Their reign was marked by a resurgence of Persian art, literature and architecture, a renaissance that bore witness to the resilience of the Persian spirit. Yet the legacy of the Persian Empire was not just confined to the boundaries of these successor states, it permeated far and wide, influencing cultures and civilizations across the globe. The Persian system of governance, the satrapies, served as a model for future empires. Their advancements in art, science and architecture were adopted and adapted by numerous cultures. The Persian language and literature left an indelible mark on the world, giving birth to masterpieces like the Shahnameh, the epic of Persian heroes. The Sasanian Empire, the last kingdom of the Persian Empire, took the baton from the Parthians. They carried forward the legacy of their predecessors, upholding the traditions and values of the Persian culture. The Sasanians left behind a rich tapestry of art and architecture, a testament to the grandeur of the Persian civilization. The Persian Empire may have fallen, but its impact is still felt today, echoing through the ages. The legacy of the Persian Empire is not confined to the pages of history books. It is a living, breathing entity, one that continues to shape our world in ways both subtle and profound. The echo of the Persian Empire is a testament to its enduring influence, a legacy that reverberates through time and across civilizations. History is filled with questions, and the story of the Persian Empire is no exception. As we journey through the annals of time, we encounter numerous mysteries that remain shrouded in the veil of the past. One such enigma is the fate of the lost army of Cambyses II. This force of 50,000 men sent into the Egyptian desert around 525 BC vanished without a trace. Was it a sandstorm, as Herodotus suggests, that swallowed the entire army? Or is there a more complex narrative yet to be uncovered? The relationship between the Persians and the Greeks is another riddle that historians grapple with. It's a tale of rivalry and conflict, but also of mutual influence and respect. The Persians were seen as the arch enemies of the Greeks, yet their culture, art and philosophy deeply influenced the Hellenic world. So was it a simple black and white story of conquerors and the conquered? Or was there a more nuanced interplay of power and culture? And then there's the question of the immortals, the elite force of the Persian army. Were they truly as invincible as they are portrayed in the historical texts? 
Or is this another example of the victor writing the history? And what about the mysterious Royal Road said to stretch over 2,500 kilometers, facilitating communication and control across the vast empire? How was such a monumental feat achieved over two millennia ago? As we delve into these puzzles, we find ourselves standing on the precipice of knowledge, peering into the abyss of the unknown. And the more we learn, the more questions arise, each one leading us on a new path of discovery. Perhaps the most intriguing of all is this. What if the Persian Empire had not fallen? How different would our world be today? Could we be living in a world where Persian culture and philosophy dominate? Would the course of human history have taken a different turn? As we ponder these unanswered questions, we realize that history is not just a chronicle of events, but a labyrinth of possibilities and what-ifs. As we delve deeper into the story of the Persian Empire, we are left with one burning question. What if the Persian Empire had not fallen? How different would our world be today?